Have you ever wondered if bubbles come in different shapes? Hi, I'm Neil, and welcome to Beyond the Classroom Bubble Geometry. Today, we're going to be making different kinds of bubbles and trying to understand them through geometry, the mathematics of distance, size, and shape. If you signed up for our kit, this is what you'll get in it. A whole bunch of pipe cleaners, one cup of dish soap, a ruler, and a straw. What else you'll need is some sort of cup, bucket, or bowl filled with water, and maybe some scissors. Let's start out by adding our soap to our water. Now, you'll want to do this slowly because if there's too many bubbles in your bubble solution, it won't be good for dipping our shapes into later. All right, once we have all that added, slowly stir it together until it looks uniform. Now that we have our bubble solution made, let's see if we can make any different kinds of shapes. Let's just start off with a pipe cleaner and turn it into a normal circle. All right. Okay, so that made a circle or spherical bubble. Uh, let's see if we can make a different kind of shape. Let's see if it makes a triangular bubble. It came out spherical again. Let's try to make a square bubble. All right, we've got a square one now. So our square bubble wand also makes spherical bubbles. Now, the reason why this happens is because of something called surface tension. Now, when water and soap work together to trap air into bubbles, naturally, the soap and water want to pull themselves into the smallest surface area possible, so all of our bubbles turn out spherical in 3D circles. But today, we're going to try to see if we can trick the bubbles into becoming different shapes. The way we have to do that is by making different sorts of 3D objects. So first, let's start off easy and make what's called a triangular pyramid, also known as a tetrahedron. Now, for that, we're going to want to take our pipe cleaners, and we're going to want to turn them into four different triangles and then connect them at the corners. Now, when you do this, you'll also want to leave one long part to kind of act as a handle so you can dip it into our bubble solution. It's okay if your pipe cleaners aren't exactly perfect. You don't need a perfect triangle for this to work. But what you do want to try to make sure of is make sure the sharp points of your pipe cleaners are pointing to the outside. Now we have a triangular pyramid. We have three sides up top and a triangular base on the bottom. So let's dip it into our solution and see what happens. You may have to move it around to see which side is best to dip it from. All right. So hopefully you can see what we have. Oh, only sometimes these bubbles don't stay around for too long. But we had a bubble 
that was meeting in the center at a kind of three points converging on one. What we want to try to do is once we have that, use our straw to go into that center point and blow very gently. And if we're lucky with some practice, we can get a triangular bubble. Now don't get frustrated. This takes some patience and practice to do. As you can see, I'm having a little bit of trouble myself right now. So just keep trying and hopefully it'll work. There we go. All right, there it is. We've got a triangular pyramid bubble. So while it's still here, what we can do with our ruler, oh, it popped a little bit. Let's try it, one second. What we can do with our ruler is try to measure the sides of it. That's maybe just about an inch on each side. Oh, there it goes. But now that we know the sides are each an inch, we can figure out what the surface area of our triangular pyramid bubble is. To find the total surface area of a triangular pyramid or tetrahedron, you can find the surface area of one of its triangles half of the side, or base, times the height of the triangle, which is not equal to the sides, and then multiply the whole area by four. However, because the height and the base of the triangle might not be the easiest numbers to use, there is also a simpler formula that we can use. A equals the square root of three times the length of the side squared. If the side of our triangular pyramid is one inch, then the surface area of the triangular pyramid is 1.73 inches squared. So now that we've done a triangular pyramid, let's see if we can do the same thing, but with a three-dimensional square or a cube. So using our pipe cleaners, now we've got to make six different squares that connect at the corners, just like our pyramid. Okay, now we have ourselves a cube. It is a six-sided object. All of our sides are close to perfect squares. If, again, if they're not perfect, that's okay. Uh, it should work for our purposes. And I've got a little piece here to help me dip it in. And let's see if we can make ourselves a cube bubble. All right, we've been dripping a lot of water on our table. So we're gonna put down some paper towel. Make sure you have something to help clean up so you don't make too big of a mess while you're working with your bubbles. And we're having some difficulty making our cube bubble show up. So something you might want to try to do is dip your straw in your bubble solution and try to blow your own bubble inside of the cube. Sometimes that makes it a little bit easier for the bubble to form and meet in the center. And you might have to play around with it a little bit. Blow in a little bit more to make it bigger or inhale a little bit to make the bubble smaller. There it is, we have a cubed bubble. Now these don't last very long, so very quickly try to measure the size. Again, since this is pretty small, that's probably about an inch I'd say. Oh, there it goes. 
but we had a cube to bubble. That's pretty cool. Um, so you measure the sides, and with a cube, finding the surface area is pretty easy. You have six sides that are all squares, and squares with one side that's an inch, the other side's an inch too. So one times one will give us the surface area of one square, which means that's one square inch. With six sides, multiply it by six. Six inches squared is the total surface area for our cubed bubble. Once you've made a triangular pyramid bubble or a cube bubble, try to keep making different sorts of shapes. Here, I've made one earlier that has eight different sides. I wonder what kind of bubbles I can make with this. Well, that's all for today. I'm Neil with the Vigo County Public Library, and I hope you enjoyed bubble geometry. See you next time.